What is up, B. Jones in the building? We are playing Torchlight 2. I was on IGN the other day and I saw that there were guides for all the classes except really the Outlander. So I thought I would do an Outlander class and I might post it on IGN when I'm done. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe it and tweet about it. Help me get my name out there. I'm trying to get more views. And we are going to start a new game. Now, we're going to go... Outlander. Bala. This will be another female class, just because I think they look better. Um, I'm probably going to make a berserker male class and an engineer male class so that's normally how I do it. I split it up evenly look at all the faces she looks so nice well I kind of like that hairdo Got all kinds of hair colors. <laughs> See, we want the red so we match. I'm gonna name this character Shana. No, I won't do that. I'm gonna name her. I don't know what to call her. I need a good name. Maybe. Well, we'll go Triss. Wonder what that's from, folks. Cat. Now, she's kind of like a wanderer, so I think she would have like some kind of freaky deaky th thing. That thing looks so disturbing, I still don't understand. The owl is pretty dope. The wolf, I think, Berserker should have. Let's randomize this. <laughs> Dot, Ginger, Kindle. Oh, here we go. Bamboo. Okay. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not going to show the cinematics because I kind of feel like they there's no point. So, and I do normally cut the load screens. I didn't cut this one because I was talking. I'm not going to show, like I said, the cinematics. I'm going to skip it. Do yourself a favor, buy the game if you want to see the cinematics. So, first things first, you got to talk I to this I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Socketed items are great. You kind of want that, but Knockback is also good because this is a character you really don't want people to get close to you. So, at least from you what I've quest. read. Now, pull up the skill tree because I kind of need to see what exactly the abilities are. You hurl a throwing clave, slicing through your target, rebounding once to strike additional foes and generating extra charge. So, 
current rank 1. It does poison damage, interrupt chance 80%, movement speed reduced, generates 2% charge. Now, another thing about Torchlight is you have to decide what skill tree you're going to go heavy in, which is why I'm looking at them right now, because you're going to want... Diversity will be the death of you in this game, so you're really going to want to look at the trees and choose. And a lot of times, you're going to even... You're going to want to just maybe skip a whole skill together altogether you know usually i pull the passives from multiple skills but my main skill tree is a specific one you know what i'm saying so just look it over real fast that's what i'm doing this is the first time i've played an outlaw but just read it through so right now i can already tell this is a poison type class, which could be really fun, I think. So, I mean, this right here is a gun class, and it does knockback and it does damage to armor, clearly. 10% of weapon DPS. It just doesn't seem like it does a bunch of damage. That does chaos burst, but we're not going to get that for a long time. Oh, 12% per second. 12 per second. I'm not really into that warfare. I don't think I'm going to be doing this. I mean, this is the gun class right here, but I just don't really like it so far. This seems like it does damage. To me, I think damage is more important rather than knockback and movement. I could be wrong. I do believe I can respec if I am wrong. Again, attack speed reduced, movement speed reduced. You curse your ammunition. Three shards, which seek. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, actually. The shadow, the, the sigil. Let's look at this. A blast of cursed breath poisons enemies. If they are killed, they are con that fight for you. Know that the death ritual skill improves all shadowing summon duration and attack power this might be our thing right here protecting you from range target which lays waste minions deal 27 but that includes dash attack it doesn't say how long it lasts but that's level 42 hmm. well that's pretty good I mean blade pack lasts for 7 and any enemy passing through the PAX area. But this is also really good. I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to... Yeah, this does the most damage. So, for now, that's what we're going to do. Sorry it took me so long, but you know how it is. You gotta... You gotta look at it. Bam! It is cool having a long range weapon though. It's not that long range, is it? Ooh, nice. That slices through yeah.
Now, another thing you want to do with this game is you really need to pick up all the stuff that you possibly can. Space bar, let's see, two-handed. We're not going to want two-handed, I think. We're going to want uh, one-handed pistols. So basically, I'm using mostly my... Um, left click my default attack I had read online that you have to watch out for that outlanders don't take hits so well so a golden key when you find a golden key that means that nearby there's a gold lock chest and that's really good we're going to have to find that keep looking if you hold shift it's going to stop you from moving it's a good little tip it's just like Diablo was kind of That's also good. Try to line up your your attack so you do you hit multiple people. You a new recruit? Physical armor, nine health, three mana, plus one to physical. We're going to do that. Bring up your items right away and equip that. Just make sure that you're watching. Well, that's cheap. So, it looks like the Outlander's moves have a very far range, which is nice. The special moves, at least. The actual attack is kind of... Not very good on distance. One thing with this game is you have to just continually be looking around, you know. There, every nook and cranny could hold, any nook and cranny could hold a surprise. Who I totally missed. Still haven't found that gold chest, but we will. Again, collect all these potions. Keep an eye on your health. I think it's about a quarter of the way down. You're going to want to just uh, pop a health potion. Another thing with this game is kiting is really important, you know. You attack them, and then you run away. You have to more skill. I've actually gained two levels and I haven't done anything with them yet, so it's really not that good. And it's still, oh, there's the gold chest. See how I hit multiple targets? That's a good thing. over here. Bam. Okay, folks. And this is actually... Let's pull up the... 
menu real quick. If you push space, both your character menu and your item menu come up. That could be helpful. These are used, specs are used in socketed items, so that's really good. You want to try to synergize your moves, which this right here is poison damage, uh, movement reduction, so you're going to want to get poison specs. Now, focus is magic, dex is for this class, vitality is health and strength. You know, increases all weapon damage as well as the amount of bonus damage. Dexterity is your main thing. You can tell because look at how high it is. Your vitality is really low in the beginning, which is not good. So what you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to go to dex. I don't know. Go forward. Dex, one, two, three, four, one vitality. Actually, we're going to do that for both first levels. So, that's one thing with this class. I think you're going to run into that problem. Synergizing your moves really good. It could be a little difficult. So, that's just how it is. Dexterity and vital, I think, are going to be your most important. Mana is probably not that big of an issue, but you're definitely going to need it. And strength, I'm probably not going to do a lot with. So here, we just finished the first quest, so let's do this. Sorry about that guys, I kind of skipped out on the skill, so press S to pop it up. Now we've already decided this was going to be our main tree. Now remember, the passives, not necessarily. We might use a different passive, you know, but you're going to want to use your main special attack always. You want to get it up as high as possible. So the next level will be one of the passives. So look at it. Increases with pistols, ranged weapon bonus two. Plus, so that raises your long range. That sounds like it could be very important. This, I'm not too worried about. This is really good. The poison. We're probably going to do this. I mean, that's great because our thing right here is all poison. See that? Three poison. That doesn't have poison, which kind of sucks. But it has bleed. Fire damage. Knockback. But our main move right here is poison. So, I mean, it's either going to be that. If an enemy is killed, there is a chance it will explode. Wow. So this is really good. So what we're probably going to do is we will be doing this. This. And then this are going to be our main passives, at least for the beginning of the game. Now come over here. That's the respec guy, in case you need to respec your skills, which we may later on. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. You want pistols, so... Because shotguns are two-handed, so... As it was, you could use a bow also, but... And since the confrontation, several more. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist... So basically, he said you gotta go to the Guardian of the Water. Here's the little quest thing. Do you need something? We're not going to use these. You could save it, but I've already got another character. My stash is kind of full, so... Just sell this crap. Just... Oops. 
Actually, we got a better weapon. Okay. Now, you have to hold shift and click. This, I mean, it's great because there's so many sockets, but it's not all that great. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Keep your specs, they're really good. Actually, we could put that in there, and we probably will. So, just because anything you've got that can increase your damage, you're going to find more of those specs, so don't worry about it so much. Now talk to this guy over here, he's going to give you another quest. He says, I need the al uh, armor schematics, and that it's by the temple steps. It's actually like in like this monster area. So you'll find it. It's not going to be that difficult to find. Accept it, of course. And that is it for this episode, folks. Um, real quick, I'll show you this fishing hole. You wait until the ring is completely inside and then you try to pull it. At least that's what... But it never seems to work, so... I mean, you can do it a hundred times, but... It doesn't seem like it really wants to work. catching anything. Let's try. One more try. Got no skill. There, I got it. A war now. Do it again. Wait till it gets to the inner one. Pull it out. Let's try it again. Fish, do stuff to your pets. I'm going to call it a day. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, B. Jones, out.